One of the most common questions I get asked is what is the best Amazon product selection tool available on the market? Now, there are obviously a lot of product selection tools out there, ranging from Chrome extensions to database-driven tools. And what you choose will have a huge impact on the results you get. And there is no doubt, if you are wondering what to sell on Amazon to make money, then you are going to need a product selection tool. Hey there, my name is Rich Henderson, and I'm the co-creator and chief mentor for the amazing Selling Machine program. And I've been selling on Amazon since 2013. So the best tool on the market for me, hands down, is the MBS Retriever Chrome extension. And I'm going to show you five reasons it is the only tool you should choose. Reason number one, it is a Chrome extension and pulls data live from Amazon. So let's go and take a look at what this means. Okay, so I jumped to amazon.com. I've put in a search string to try and show as many products as possible because right now I'm looking for product ideas. And I've gone into the kitchen and dining category and then gone to the subcategory for that, which is kitchen utensils and gadgets. Now, everything on this page is obviously current. It's obviously live right now. So this product here, this pasta roller, it's $199. That's the price right now. The number of reviews, 2,164, is the number of reviews right now. So it only makes sense that when we're searching for products that we can source and sell on Amazon, we want the data that's showing right now. Not data from a week ago, not data from a month ago. This is where having the Chrome extension jumps in. If I go up here and I click on the MBS Retriever logo, it's gonna open up the search. You can see it's already gone and pulled those results. Now I've got this search box maxed out so you can see it all, but you can adjust the size of it. You can have it any size you want. But personally, I don't need to see anything that's behind the extension box. I just need to see all this information and it's totally current and up to date. You can see here that product I looked at, the pasta roller, it's $199. The BSR is gonna be accurate. The number of reviews is gonna be accurate as of right this second. And it's so important that if you want to find a product that's viable and profitable, that you use the data that's there right now. A lot of database tools will be two, three weeks old, even months old. We're using the absolute up-to-date data to analyze all these products, but that's reason number one. Reason number two, Retriever makes it really simple to sort and filter results no matter what criteria you are using. Okay, so we're back on the same page. And the only difference now is I went and extracted another four pages. And all you need to do to do that is click on the load next page. And you can see it's going to pull some more results. This saves having to open up a different page in Amazon every time. But the main things to talk about here is the filters. So we all know that when you're looking for products, there's so many different ways of doing it. There's lots of different criteria out there. What is great about this tool is it covers every base. So for instance, if I click on the filters here, you can see it shows me all these filters. So let's say I didn't want to search for any products that were in the top 100 products on Amazon for any category. So in other words, BSR of 100. So I'm going to put into the rank box here for minimum 101, which has now removed any product that's got a BSR of less than 101. Obviously doing this, you're trying to avoid anything that's incredibly competitive. Now you also might be interested in the price. So you might not want to look at anything below $15. So you put 15 in and then you might only want to go to $60 maximum. So we've now got a maximum price here of 15 to $60. You could then look at revenue. Say we only wanted a minimum of $5,000 revenue. And then a lot of people would probably jump to reviews right now. But at this point, I'm looking to identify products. The reviews are irrelevant. For instance, this top product's got 8,000 reviews. So you might say automatically, okay, that's going to be way too competitive. But you don't know what the products underneath are selling. And don't forget, you don't have to be the number one product to make significant income on Amazon. So I'm gonna leave reviews alone, but I'm gonna put five pounds in as a maximum weight. Once you've done that, obviously you want to sort. Now there's so many different choices you've got here. You can sort by BSR because the lowest BSR has the highest number of sales. So you might be specifically just looking at sales, but I could also, if I wanted, sort by revenue. Clicking it twice gives me the maximum revenue. That's how simple it is to filter and search using the MBS Retriever. Reason three. It has an images function that makes it lightning quick to ensure you are comparing like for like when examining a product's market depth. So let's assume we've identified this as a potential product for us. And you can see it's a stainless steel salt and pepper grinder set of two. So the next step would be to go and see if this product has enough market depth. In other words, whether we could launch a product to get a high enough rank so that we can make enough sales and make this product viable. So importantly here, to do that, we need to compare like for like. In other words, for instance, this is a set of two. 
that would not be comparable with a set of four because that's a different product. It's important that you always compare like for like. So I would grab this stainless steel salt and pepper grinder set and go and search. And I've already done that so we can see it. Let's open MBS and it's already pulled up the results. So to actually do this using it, you would have to scroll down. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. That's not, and delete it. So obviously you can see, you've got to look at each one of these by putting your mouse cursor over the title. However, the images option makes this much quicker. If I click on it, you can see you're seeing all the images straight away. I can see that's battery operated, get rid of it. This isn't the best example. There are gonna be other ones that stick out even more, but this one's battery operated, remove it. This one comes in a whole box with some other attachments, so we'll get rid of that. Got a four pack, get rid of that. Electric, get rid of that. Another electric, get rid of that. And you can see the process. You can see how quick it is for me to do this. And then there's another gravity electric one there. That's all wood, that's not our product. That's not our product. Battery operated, not our product. There's the thumb one. I would never buy one of those. That's all wood, no good to us. This one's just one shaker that does both at the same time. It's not our product. This one isn't stainless steel, not our product. So you can see how it works. You can see how fast it is to remove all those. And it's just incredibly important that whenever you're looking at the depth of market to see if a product is viable, that you always compare like for like or apples to apples. But that's reason number three. Reason number four, Retriever shows you gaps in the market for any product. So you can see true opportunities instantly. And here's the proof. Okay, so I've switched things up a little bit and I've switched the search to electric salt and pepper grinder set. So we're looking for a slightly different product this time. I went ahead, used the images to remove products that didn't match. And I actually extracted two pages as well, which is probably too many, but it's not gonna affect the results we get. So I want to identify holes in the market. In other words, I want to identify products with a decent level of revenue and low review numbers. So I'm currently sorted by rank. So I'm actually gonna change that and sort by revenue. So I'm gonna click twice, so it's highest to lowest. And then I'm gonna open up the filters. And then I'm gonna choose a number of reviews that I think I can compete with, with the marketing strategies that I know and can implement. Now, for me personally, I would be looking at 500, but let's say we put 300. You can see there's a lot of results here at 300, but they're ranging from 20,000 down to 9,000. So let's say I put in a minimum revenue of 5,000. That's, that's the minimum revenue I want of the product that's got 300 reviews or less. So all of these are potentials at this point, but here's the issue. Looking at these top five, they're probably okay. They've got over a hundred reviews. But then if we see this one here, that's got eight reviews, the chances of this product's doing this level of sales with this low number of reviews would indicate to me that it's in launch mode. And that's the one thing you need to be careful when you're examining a product to see where you could rank your version of the product and how much money you could make. So eight looks very suspicious to me. This one at 19 at 12,000 looks suspicious. We could open these up and see when their first review was to give us an idea of it if it's in launch mode. But MBS not only has these filters to make things easy, but it's also got this option. If I click on it, this basically you can show or hide any columns you wish. So right now, I don't need to know the brand names so I can get rid of it. I'd still wanna see the price. I don't particularly need to see the category anymore either because all these products are like for like. And I'll leave the rest in, but I'm gonna check this box first review date. And then we're gonna see a difference. So if I click it again to close it, as you can see, the top five, they've been on sale for at least six months. However, this one with eight, April the 16th, this product has only been launched a month. They're doing a really good job. They've got 371 sales in the last 30 days and they're doing 15 grand, but they're in launch mode. So they're probably using rebates or they're probably using coupons and they're probably using giveaways. They're using all kinds of things to rank and to make sales. So I would discount this product. The same for this one, you can see it's April the 11th. I would discount this product. At this point, I would actually delete it. And then this one too, it's only been on sale a month. This one too, although we're getting down to lower numbers now anyway. And as a rule of thumb, I would not count any product that launched in the last 60 days. So I'm getting rid of that one too. So these are all much more likely to be realistic. We're still looking at relatively no numbers of reviews and decent numbers revenue wise. But that's how easy it is to look for holes in a market and analyze where you could potentially get a product to fairly quickly. Now, having said all that, I am not saying this is a good product to go after. There are other things you need to consider, but as far as identifying holes in the market where you can potentially jump in, MBS makes it super easy. And reason number five, there is a free version of this tool called Profit Miner, which you can go and grab right now at amazingsellermachine.com 
along with free training on how and what to sell on Amazon to make money. So go visit AmazingSellingMachine.com or click the link below and grab the best Amazon product research tool for free and start finding profitable products you can sell on Amazon right now. Thanks for watching and take care.